hello my beloved students yes you are welcome in this class today uh for those one who are new my name is teacher at all and this is english fluency at all if you like the content you like the class remember to subscribe and share okay yes please subscribe this will motivate me and you will keep the channel growing and blooming like a flower okay yes um once again my name is teacher Ato, and this is english friends at all so uh today what i got for you is quite different from others okay yes today we are uh, uh studying uh tense okay we are looking into tenses okay yes so uh this tense i got for you is quite basic uh it's not complicated just simple because it is for beginner okay um so let us look at it so uh we have today uh now and and yesterday okay also on the other side you can say present simple present continuous and then this one is past uh past okay yesterday is about something that happened uh in a past moment uh also you can uh you can also call this one uh present continuous something which is happening now okay uh and then today something that that happened today okay not happening now but happened today the use of ing at the end of, of every word uh it it means that something is going on right now okay yes so but we shall look into them all together so today i got some words for you some specific words not all words but some words okay uh, uh we have come come and then come is for today okay coming is now i am coming now we are coming now you add ing mean that you are in the act things are going on like right now and then yesterday we have came okay yes came come coming came okay uh here we have a okay came and then go go going and then uh past changes into went okay changes into went go going and went most people don't understand that but things change at some moment and then dance dancing i am dancing now and then danced i danced yesterday i danced last year i danced last week okay yes if you're talking about past you mainly you add ed in some <coughs> in some words and then we have do do is an action do is, is something that is uh is it's how can i say is it something that you are acting on okay yes it is when you are acting on it is an act of doing something that is do and then doing it means that you are doing something now what are you doing i'm cooking oh i am doing it i am doing it, it mean that you are doing something if if i say that i am doing it or if i tell you that you are doing it it means that you are doing something there's an action an, uh, an action going on somewhere somehow and then did did do changes to did when it is past i did my exam last week i did my exam yesterday i did my exam two hours ago uh do i do i do i am doing i did okay i did and then give give means to share i give you my pen i am giving you my pen and then give changes to gave 
This is gave. Mm -hmm. I gave him food last night or last evening. I gave. And then clap. 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 Clap means to do like this. Clap. I am clapping now. I am clapping now. I clapped yesterday. I clap. If you're using past time, time that has already passed, you will use. I clapped two minutes ago. Okay. And then open. Open. Open the door. Open the car. Open the box. Yes. Opening. Opening means that you are opening now. Okay. Now. Opening now. And then past we have opened. Okay. Opened. Yes. I opened the car and there was a snake in it. Okay, it means that you open the car and there was a snake inside the car. I opened the car because it was too hot. And sweep, 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 sweeping. We are sweeping. We are sweeping. And then sweep changes to swept. Swept. I, I, I believe there is T here. Yes, I believe there's T there. That was simple mistake. Swept. Swept. Sweep changes to swept. Those of open they take ED at the at the past. And then clap also takes ED. Give changes to give. Do changes to did if it is past, like yesterday. Dance takes ed danced go changes to went come then changes to came okay just just a revision uh, a reminder okay so let us move on uh, clean clean mean that you are cleaning the board clean clean cleaning now cleaning now and cleaned cleaned takes E, E, D at the end. Those one takes E, D, the here, 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 and then cleaned. And then here we have break. Break. I am breaking this pen now. Okay. I am breaking. And then that one changes. Uh, and then it changes into broke, broke. If it's yesterday or finished, to, to do it, you say broke. I broke this pen. Oh, I broke my phone. My phone fell down and broke. Yes, if you like the content, subscribe and share with your colleagues, like, and then mm, comment. Okay, yes, if you're new. And you have just joined us right now. You are welcome. And this is English Fluency at all. And my name is Teacher at all. Yes, we can move on here. Use every day. Use every day tends to fill the gaps. So what we we what what we have here is quite different from here. This one is about just some simple things today, now, and then yesterday. But this one is for every day now, okay? Because tense is divided into many parts. Uh, every, every, every day, every day tense is different from any of these, okay? Every day tense is different from any of these, okay? Same noun, but the way you play with them is quite different. Okay, uh, here we have the use of ing and then uh, the verb changed into ed or into irregular. Okay, irregular means change completely. For example, go, went, is never the same. Okay, completely different. Do, did, 
okay it is completely different that's why it's called irregular some of them are irregular and some of them are regular but here we don't have the use of regular and irregular okay here we just have the use of s or es okay because it is everyday everyday uh, tense okay everyday tense is the use of s or es and then uh, now tense is the use of in ing now tense you use ing okay let me help you understand and then the past tense is the use of d or change change changes in the verb but everyday tense has the use of s or es okay let us now see here uh she dash okay she cooks tea every morning okay it means that every morning when she wakes up every day she cooks tea so you'll add s on cook okay here yeah, there's telling telling you to use this this noun here no 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 not now this verb here okay yes the verbs are already given in the bracket so it is upon you to know whether it should have s or es okay uh she cooks why do you add s or es the nouns like he she and it okay the pronouns like he she and it takes es or s and then i you we they i you we they they don't take anything the noun remains the verb remains the same okay who drives that car okay here is singular and here is also singular okay when when you are talking about singular you you add es or s but if you're talking about plural you don't add anything okay now like here they're asking about only one person because okay you don't know whether there are one or many but okay when you're asking a question you sometimes you don't know whether 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 you're asking about many people or or one or as or one person but here the use of who it takes s on the on the verb okay who drives that car who remember the use of s o e s it only it does what um it only works in everyday tense okay but in other part of tenses they don't work who drives that car they they wake up at 2 p.m now you see day is plural okay day is plural so wake remains wake it does not change okay they wake up at 2 p.m he usually fights with friends so here the pronoun is he the pronoun is he one here also the pronoun is she one it will take s and then here the pronoun is he only one it will also take s at the at the uh, verb okay uh he usually fights with friends uh-huh uh nathan nathan is also he because nathan is a is a, is a, is a man okay he can he can be a man or a woman uh um but all that should know that is a name of someone you don't know whether it's a man or a woman but here in my country nathan is a name of a man okay so it will take s also okay nathan men's shoes it means that 
he means that you every day okay or he means shoes every day every single day nathan is mending shoe okay uh -huh. okot okot is also a name of a man okay in my country here okay okot enjoys eating a uh, posho okay okot enjoys eating posho so it means that Nathan Okot uh, and no Nathan and Okot these are the name of someone uh-huh Okot enjoys so it will take s in the main verb and then she teaches English so you can see here she is is a lady okay so teach teach becomes teaches okay here they have not changed here they have not added anything they just gave us in the bracket some some verbs there for us to play with it so you can see that teach becomes teaches this one this time takes es when you are talking about a singular he she or it and then you see enjoy it has no s or es becomes s enjoys when you're talking about he she and it so he is here she is here and then nathan is also he so mend becomes men's he also is here so you see fight now becomes fights with s and then who we don't know but he who is using who assumes that is asking about one person okay so you can say also s okay you can also put s and then she is also uh, uh cook cook is also having s cooks when you are using she as well as you can see there so i would like to just stop here for now let me hope that you understood in case you understood don't forget to subscribe like and share See you soon. Ciao.